Hey crafters, happy Friday. I'm so glad it's the weekend. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a DIY uh, shirt using heat transfer vinyl or HTV. I'm also gonna be using a printable HTV as well, so I'll show you how to do that. And I'll also give you some tips and tricks along the way. Let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for your um, shirt is, so what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using some glitter heat transfer vinyl or HTV. I'm also gonna use some StarCraft um, printable HTV for dark materials. So um, I'm gonna be doing that for part of my image just because I don't have the colors. So I'm gonna do print, print and cut for that. Um, you'll need some scissors, your weeding tool, and I have a tape measure just to make sure I can line everything up all right. Um, and I also have an iron handy because I don't have a heat press, so I'm going to be using my iron to do this. So let's get started. All right, so what we need to do first is find our image. So what I'm going to be making today is I'm going to make some unicorn squad shirts for myself, my sister-in-law, and my niece because we are doing the color run tomorrow. So I'm going to find, I already have unicorn up here in my search bar, so I'm going to find some cute unicorn images. So I think I'm going to use this one. Um, and I'm also going to use this, um, so I'm going to use this horn up here, and I'm also going to use this unicorn squad um, down here. So I'm going to insert both images to my canvas. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to make this 100% first. So I'm going to have my horn be up here just kind of like this and then I want the unicorn squad to be down here so what I want to do is I want to kind of play around with these fonts and colors and stuff so I'm going to ungroup the unicorn squad and first what I want to do is I want this squad part to be print and cut because I already know I don't have these colors in vinyl so print and cut is just going to be the easiest option so I'm going to select this and I'm going to go over here to flatten so now it's one a one layer image and you can see over here it's automatically going to do the print um, then cut option so that is good to go so I'm just going to size it a little bit Alright, so now for my unicorn, I want that to be separate because I'm actually going to cut this out of gold HTV. So I'm going to just stretch that a little bit. Perfect. And then this is all good to go too because I'm actually going to print, or I'm actually going to cut all this out of vinyl also. Um, except for the leaves, I want to... Um, group together because I'm going to cut those out just of one color each TV. So I'm going to ungroup this really quick. I'm just going to move the flowers away. Oops. And move the horn out of the way. And I'm going to weld these all together just because I want them to all be cut out um, of the vinyl the same and I'm just gonna have them all be the same color because I don't have a light green um, HTV I only have a dark darker green which is fine so now I'm just gonna move all my layers back alright so this is my shirt so I'm gonna want to size this for an adult and I found a couple size charts and I think the best size for an adult is about I think they said it's between like eight or no I think it's nine by nine or nine nine and a half by nine and a half so I'm gonna do this nine by nine for my shirt move that a little bit I just want the unicorn to be a little smaller 
and I'll be able to play around with the um, where how all of this goes onto the shirt since they're all different layers so I don't really mind how it looks right here all right so we can go to make it so first we're gonna do our print then cut portion so we have our squad here ready to print all right so I'm gonna hit continue I'm going to send this to my printer, hit print, and it's going to print onto my printable HTV right now. All right, so we have our squad uh, printed out. So now I'm going to put this on my mat so we can cut it. So print then cut is a really good option, especially if you don't have the color vinyl you need. Um, like I don't have this light blue or this light green. So this option is really nice if you have the materials for it. So we're going to load our mat. And we can cut this um, printable HTV with our vinyl setting. So now I'm going to hit cut. So it's going to make sure that our image is all lined up and ready to go, and then it'll start cutting. All right, so we can unload our mat. this off and I'll handle that in just a second but while I'm gonna weed that I'm going to get started on our unicorn all right so we're gonna get started on our unicorn so I'm taking some really pretty gold glitter this is scissor easy weed glitter HTV so I'm gonna put that on my mat remember shiny side down because that's our carrier sheet that's really important so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring this back a little. Right. So I'm gonna put this on our mat. Okay. And for this, we are gonna wanna change our custom settings to glitter HTV, and we're gonna wanna make sure we mirror our image here. So done. And we're going to change our settings to glitter iron on. And we want to make sure we change those settings because glitter iron on is a little thicker than regular HTV. All right, we can cut this. All right, so we can unload this one, take that off, put that aside for now. Okay, so now we're gonna do one of our flowers with our purple HTV, or this is kind of like a indigo, I guess. Again, we're gonna wanna make sure we mirror this. And our settings are on um, glitter iron-on, so we're good to go. So while that's going, we can start weeding our unicorn. All right, so we have our purple flower done. So now let's jump down and we'll do our pink flower. We'll make sure again that it's mirrored. And for the pink flower, I'm using this really pretty pink HTV. So we'll load our mat. And we'll cut that. So we have our unicorn and our horn done. 
So while that's going, we can do our purple flower. We can weed that. I'm just going to pull. All right, our next flower is done. Now we're going to do our matte gold part of the horn. So for this, I'm going to change our settings to regular iron-on. And again, making sure that it's mirrored. So for the matte gold part of the horn, I'm going to just do this. Um, I think it's called Vegas Gold um, Sizer Easy Weed. Again, shiny side down on the mat. And we've changed, remember we've changed our settings to regular iron on. And while that's going, we can do this pink flower real quick. Okay, and last but not least, we have our leaves. I'm going to just do this with some green vinyl I have and I'm going to mirror this. Put this on our mat. So the nice thing is once we get all these cut, it's actually going to go relatively quickly. All right, so we got our leaves done now. So I believe that's the last of the vinyl we need to cut. So I'm just going to weed these and I'm gonna try and salvage some of this vinyl because I didn't use the whole piece. Oops. All right, so now I'm gonna weed these leaves. Ooh, look how cut close I cut that. Whoopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. So now we have all of our layers ready to go. I can put that away. Um, oh, I forgot. We also have this squad. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cut out this piece. I didn't use this whole sheet, sheet of um, I didn't use this whole sheet of printable HTV. So I'm just gonna weed this like I normally would. Just be careful because if you scratch the ink, it could leave a mark, which I have learned many times. So I'm just gonna weed this like normal HTV or vinyl. Get my middle pieces out here. All right, so we have our squad, super cute. Um, so now we're ready to iron on our shirt. All right, so we are ready to start ironing on our shirt and I tried to put the camera in the best place possible. So I'm just doing this on a um, tank top I got from Target. So a couple of things um, to note when you're ironing on like a racer back like this is first um, be careful of creases. So just make sure you're not ironing on anything where there's a crease or there's material under it because it will burn and it'll leave a mark. So I don't think we'll have that problem with this design, but just FYI for if you are doing that, um, if you're doing a bigger design. So I want to start out with my horn here and I'm going to put this about mm, like three inches three inches from the neckline. So about right there, I think is where I'm gonna start this. Um, Cause I don't want it too close to the neckline, but I don't want it to be so 
far down that it looks weird. So I think I think three, maybe two and a half inches is pretty good. So I'm gonna put this about two and a half inches and I'm just going to kind of mark my place with a pen, pencil, it's not very scientific. And I'm gonna see, so this is about 21 inches wide. So midpoint is about 10 and a half. So like right here is my midpoint. So I'm usually actually pretty good about figuring out where to put things. But I'm going to start with my um, first layer of my horn. So that's like that matte gold. And when you are, let's see how good that is. Dang, that's pretty spot on. Um, so a couple things to note when you are layering um, HTV, the HTV will shrink from the heat. So for this first layer, I'm just going to do, do the iron for like, three seconds just to get it off and then I'll do the glitter for another three seconds and once I have everything done that's when I'll really press it. And I also recommend having some parchment paper handy. So I have my iron heated up to the cotton setting so I'm just going to press this for like three seconds. Alright so I'm going to peel that off and it's okay if it's not completely all the way down because we're going to go over it again. So then I'm going to do my glitter layer. All right. So now I'll press this for another couple of seconds. All right. Peel off our glitter layer. Okay, so now we are going to do our flowers. So the first flower, I think, let me look at my image. So our first flower goes about here. All right, so I'm gonna press this flower for a couple of seconds. All right, peel off the carrier sheet carefully. Um, I did my um, sister-in-law and my nieces. All right, so now we're going to do our purple flower. And that one goes about right here, I think. So I'm going to press that for a couple seconds. All right, so now we have our leaves. And those go about here. Takes a couple of seconds to figure out where exactly the layers go, but that looks pretty good. Get that all out there. All right, so now we're going to press this one more time. All right, so, so far so good. So I'm just gonna put back some carrier sheets on here and I'm just gonna press this whole thing. So I'm just gonna put some carrier sheets on there and I'm gonna press this one more time as one solid image to make sure it sticks. All right, so now we have our horn here. So now we can do our unicorn and I'm gonna do that like right here I think looks good and then we'll have our squad here at the bottom so that looks pretty good there so I'm gonna take my parchment paper and now I'm just going to press this All right, so we can peel away our carrier sheet now. Oop, this part needs a little more heat. Let's give that one more try. 
All right, perfect. So we have our unicorn there. So now this is the fun part with our um, with our uh, printable HTV. So according to the website, it's best if we have a um, heat mask sheet. It basically asks, acts like transfer tape. I don't have that, so I'm just going to do this by hand. So if you don't have a heat masking sheet either, then you are in good hands because you can just watch what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to very carefully, because this is very delicate, peel off each letter and just kind of set it where I'm going to want it. So I'm going to start with the middle and then I'm going to do that with each letter very very carefully. You don't want to scratch the ink. Okay, so we have our squad pretty much where we want to put it. So now just like normal HTV, I'm going to take this parchment paper and I'm going to put it over, um, just directly over the uh, letters here. So then I'm going to take my iron and I'm just going to kind of do it like chunk by chunk if possible. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to hold pressure. I'm not going to move it around too much. So I'm going to, yeah. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to hold it with good amount of pressure. All right, now I'm going to do the this part. Again, a good amount of pressure. All right, then I can start kind of going back over it. And according to um, Troy Tube, he's the one that has a nice video on this. You really need to give it some good pressure so it doesn't peel up. And if you're using a heat masking sheet, you just use like transfer tape, um, you have to do a cold peel if you're using the uh, ma heat mask sheet with it. All right. So since I'm not using the heat mask sheet, I can just peel it right away. I'm just gonna peel off. All right, so now we have our super cute iron-on uh, shirt, and we are ready to do the color run tomorrow. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Happy crafting!